Could be the worst flu season we have seen in years. New CDC data showing states are reporting higher levels of transmission compared to the same time last year. And with COVID precautions basically gone, things could get worse as winter rolls around. Let's talk more about this with ABC News medical contributor and physician at Stanford Children's Health, Dr. Alok Patel. All right, Doc, so first of all, when is the best time to get your flu shot? And my feeling is you're going to say right now. <laughs> Kira, your feeling is correct. We we are obviously kindred spirits. You know, you want to get your flu shot ideally before the peak of flu season, which is why the CDC and public health agencies are recommending you get that shot done before Halloween. Trick or treat, your immune system will thank you. <laughs> okay, done. I'm going to get it today then if I can with my kids. All right, we mentioned that CDC, CD, CDC data rather is showing that this year's flu season could be a lot worse than last year. Why is that? You know, it could be a multitude of reasons, Kira. One of the reasons is we have not seen flu for the last few years. Is it possible that there is a decreased amount of community immunity to previous flu strains? There's also the fact that we are completely lifting, as you mentioned, all COVID era restrictions, those mitigation efforts. You know, it's, it's really troubling to see the Southern Hemisphere being hit so hard with influenza. Australia is seeing higher numbers they've seen since before 2017, which is a kind of a scary foreshadowing here. And one other very important asterisk is there is a worry about flu vaccine uptake. In the new era of people distrusting vaccines and misinformation, there is a real concern that people out there may not be as ready to roll up their arms and get their flu shot. In some states last year, there was a flu shot uptake ranging between 30% to 60%. So we want to make sure we get that number higher because influenza can absolutely land people in the hospital. It fills up our ICUs every single year. So are you more concerned about the flu or COVID-19 right now? Now you're going to put me on the spot with that question. You know, I think the potential for COVID-19 to rear its ugly head at us again with new variants is very real. We're still seeing thousands of people get infected every single day. It's hard to predict what could happen this season. And the unpredictability is exactly why we can't yet say the pandemic's over. But Kira, with influenza, and not just influenza, but with influenza and other respiratory viruses such as RSV, we know that we are potentially going to see packed hospitals. I am well aware of the fact that I am going to see children, babies in the ICU with influenza or RSV. That is going to happen. So we need to do what we can to mitigate the risk for ourselves and for our community. So is it safe to get the flu shot and COVID booster at the same time? Short answer, yes, it is safe to do that. For many people, including myself, it's actually more convenient because it's one trip to get both shots done. And now people will say, look, is there a risk behind it? What is that? I'm concerned. You know, there was a previous study the CDC posted from JAMA that shows you may have a slightly increased risk of having some of those common yet annoying adverse reactions such as fatigue, headache, or a sore arm. But guess what? It's short-lived. It goes away. And a lot of us get multiple scenes routinely anyway, especially during childhood. So you have nothing to worry about. If you haven't yet gotten your bivalent shot and flu shot, roll up both arms, do it on one arm. Doesn't matter. Just get it done. <laughs> All right. Dr. Alok Patel, always good to see you and great advice. Thanks, Doc. Likewise. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.